common among Christians, it was essential. You could not be a Christian unless you believed in resurrection. You could not be a part of this faith. Now Paul was running into a group of Christians in Corinth who wanted to kind of pull back from resurrection. But they had become Christians because they believed the message of resurrection. They believed in a reality of resurrection work. Remember, resurrection simply means a transformation into a new creation body to enter a new creation that God has for us after this present evil age. They believed it. Not only that, although resurrection, as we talked about among the Jews, was a, a belief, it was not a central belief. For Christians, the resurrection of Jesus Christ was the epicenter of their belief. It was the absolute center of what they believed. The core belief of the early church was that there was a man named Jesus of Nazareth who died and came back to life with a new creation body. That was the epicenter of what they believed. That Jesus of Nazareth had been raised from the dead, not just coming back into this life with the same body, but he had been raised into a new existence with a new kind of body. That was the epicenter of Christian belief. Thirdly, although the Jews believed in resurrection, as I mentioned, they didn't have very clear details as to what resurrection looked like. Christians suddenly had incredible understanding as to what resurrection looked like. It was as if they had seen the prototype of resurrection. It was as if they had seen a body that had been raised from the dead and they were describing it. Incredible descriptions as to what resurrection would look like. Fourthly, to the Jews, the resurrection event was a one-time event at the end of history. Christians brought in an unusual modification and they believed that this modification was in the Old Testament, but many of the Jews didn't see it. And that was this, that resurrection was split into two events. One event was the resurrection of the Messiah in the middle of history as a sign to us that he is the Messiah, and then a resurrection at the end of this present evil age of all the righteous who have put their faith in him. It was a unique modification that the Jews didn't see in the scriptures, but the Christians said, we see it in the Old Testament now that it's happened. We see where the Old Testament prophets again and again said that the Messiah would not only suffer and die for our sins, but he would be raised from the dead. And that this would happen in the middle of history as a sign that he is the pioneer to lead us, lead us into the new creation. This, is, uh, this was so unusual that when Jesus began to tell the disciples that he would be raised from the dead, they couldn't understand what he was talking about. To them, resurrection was a one-time event at the end of this present evil age. And when Jesus started telling them that he had to go to Jerusalem and die and that he would be raised from the dead, they didn't get it. Because their concept of resurrection was tied to the end of the age. We find in Mark's Gospel, chapter 9, verses 9 through 10, as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus gave them orders not to tell anyone what they had seen, which was the transfiguration, until the Son of Man had been risen from the dead. They kept the matter to themselves, discussing what rising from the dead meant. Now, they knew what resurrection meant. What they couldn't understand was why was Jesus talking like it was going to happen now? And it was going to happen to him, the Messiah. They, they just didn't have that concept at this point. They did after the resurrection. But at this point, they were struggling with this whole notion that the Messiah was going to die and that he was going to be raised from the dead into this new creation body. Fifthly, the, the death and resurrection of the Messiah became the central belief of Christians. Now, this was a very, and this is why the, the disciples were struggling with this notion, because most Jews at this time, although they believed in the coming Messiah, and they believed he had something to do with resurrection, 
Many of the Jews were missing the Old Testament prophecies about the Messiah dying, suffering, serving. They didn't, a lot of times, didn't relate that to the Messiah, that he would die. Remember, the Messiah is this unusual, anointed person who would reign forever upon the throne of David and take us into the kingdom, into this new creation that God has for us. And so, for the Jews, for this Messiah to die was, was very hard because he was going to defeat all the enemies. He wasn't going to be defeated by death. And, and so they were missing some of the key passages that spoke of, of the Messiah dying. But the Christians began to proclaim that there was a Messiah who had come, his name was Jesus, and he had died. He had died. Now, there were a lot of people in Judaism who claimed to be the Messiah. But when they died, they were taken off the list of Messiah. If, if a Messiah died, he was not the Messiah. The only good Messiah is the living Messiah. And so if someone claimed to be Messiah and they died, they were no longer seen as their followers would disperse. They would no longer follow him because he was dead. Now, here was a group of Jews who were saying, we have a Messiah and he died. Now, why in the world would they say he was the Messiah if he died? All they said, he didn't just die but he was resurrected from the dead. This Messiah not only died, but he was resurrected into a new creation body from the dead as a sign to us that in his death he did take upon himself all of our sins and he conquered death and he came back with a new creation body to say, if you follow me, I'll take you into the new creation. Because I am the only one in history who has come back from the dead with a new creation body. As John says in Revelation, he holds the keys to death and hell because of his new creation body. He's the only human being who has come back out of the dead, never to die again. And this was the gospel of the early church. Our Messiah, yes, he died, but the reason we know he's the Messiah is because he was brought back from death into a resurrected body, into a body of a new creation that will never die or never see decay. This is our God. So, suddenly you have a bunch of Jews who are talking about a Messiah who died and has been raised again. And they're saying, as we read the scriptures now with this new event that's happened, we see that the prophets talked about this over and over again, but we missed it. We missed it because we were... We were not understanding all that the Messiah was going to do for us. Now, here's the question. What caused such a radical change in these Jewish believers in Jesus? And why did it happen so suddenly? Why suddenly do you see these massive modifications on resurrection? And you see it happening so quickly among a group of Jews who didn't believe these things previously. If you are a believer in the gospel of Jesus Christ, like it or not, you are part of a radical resurrection movement. This is who we are as believers in Jesus Christ. Now, why did they make that change? And this is uh, where, where Paul brings this next portion of the formal... You remember I said that what we're reading here in the Corinthians is kind of a formalized gospel. And basically Paul is saying, okay, here, here's what was a part of that formalized gospel. And Paul says, this is what I receive and this is what I give to you. This is how we preach the gospel. That the Messiah died for our sins, that he was buried, and that on the third day he was rose from the dead. All rose from the dead. All of this is according to the scriptures, the Old Testament. There are prophecies throughout the scriptures that said this would happen. And says Paul, we have a list of witnesses that will give testimony to the fact that they, with their very own eyes, have seen a resurrected body. They have seen a body of the new creation. They have seen this Jesus when he came back from the dead. Now, as Paul gives this list, uh, which is a very important list, and basically what he's saying is we believe in the resurrection because of the witness list of those who claim to have seen a resurrected body. There is a list of people who have said, yeah, we've seen this. Uh, we have seen the body of a new creation. We have seen a man who has this body. 
and his name is Jesus. Here's the list. 